Alhamdulillah, by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we arrive at yet another Yawmul Juma, and today's topic at Masjid al Haq, at the entrance of Lodium Pretoria, Republic of South Africa, is entitled Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So, how will it be when we bring a witness from every faith community and bring you on Nabi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? as a witness against yourself. Surah al Verily Allah has spoken the truth. This is from chapter 4 of the Holy Quran, ayah 41, which will be presented by Sheikh Abu Bakar Musa, a graduate of International University of Africa from Sudan. He is an imam, a da'i, an ustad, as well as a researcher. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Audhu billahi minash shaitan rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillahi la amin wa ala ahlihi wa ashabihi wa man sahra bisaylihi ila yawmiddin Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahlil uqdata min lisani yafqahu qawli Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he sent his Nabi Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to the kuffar of Mecca definitely his message was different from what they were believing in and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him to remind them that lakum deenukum wal yadeen. I have my way and you have your way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as a rahma lil alameen as a message to the entire universe to human beings to the genes to the birds to the animals that's how unique nabi muhammadin sallallahu alaihi wasallam was and uh, we as muslims that is one of the gift the greatest gift that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the gift of the coming of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So he came with a message Bashiran wa nadira giving us a, a good tidings that whoever will believe in Allah and he does the right he has did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him Jannah and to caution that whoever will think that he is just on the dunya to enjoy and that before Allah will not return as he says there are some people who that they will be turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to know that they are destined to face the severe punishments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Nabi Muhammad sallam, he came and he left nothing that he told it to his ummah. 
There's nothing that he left behind that he told us the do's and the don'ts. And that on the day of Qiyamah, there will be no excuse to the Muslims and non-Muslims. In one hadith reported by Abi Huraira, he said, Walladhi nafsi Muhammadin biyadi. Nabi Muhammad sallam is swearing by that one who holds the breath, his breath, who is Allah. And he said, La yasma' bi ahadun. There is nobody who will listen the name Muhammad. Mina hadhi al-ummah. In this generation of mine, Yahudi wala nasorani. Jew, Christian, atheist. Thumma yamutu. And such a person, he dies. Walam yu'min billadhi ursil to bihi. And he did not believe with the message that I was sent with. Illa kana min ashabi nari. Save that person will be among the dwellers of hell. You heard about the name of Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You did not believe in him. And you die on that kind of life. Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says. Your destination will be Jahannam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and not be among the people who will enter into Jahannam and to make us among the people who will enter into Jannah. My brothers and sisters, we need to draw, we need to make a distinction. We as Muslims and non-Muslims. The disbelievers and specifically the Christians they have a doctrine which says that uh, Isa alayhi salam Jesus Christ he died, he died for us he did everything for us so for us we need only to live you need, you need only to live like that this is not an Islamic doctrine. We as Muslims, we believe that though Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallama came, we believed in him, we said the kalima la ilaha illallah, he will, there will be intercession on the day of Qiyamah. But the question is that intercession will be there without conditions? That you only say La ilaha illallah and you enter into Jannah? Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his wives they are asking him why are you not sleeping? At night, he's waking up. He's asking Allah. And Allah commanded him the Quran. Ya ayuhan nabiyu. Kumi layla illa qalila. O you the prophet. Stand at night. For long hours. Nisfawu the half of the night. Aw zidi alayhi. O add. Add more. The prophet that he forgave what he did at first and at the end is not sleeping and me and you we intend to take the western doctrine that we, if you die rest in peace you are going to be in them that should be that shouldn't be the character the behaviors of we as the muslims we should not we should not be sure we're not sure if rasulullah he was not sure what about me and you and Allah has forgiven him. Aisha radiallahu anha, she said in one of the hadith, Kullaman husiba udhiba. Whoever will stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will be punished. It is a very true hadith. Whoever will stand before Allah to be accountable, 
udhiba he will be punished la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah what a hadith so as a muslims we need we, we don't have to have the doctrine of the christian that you already fence you are going to be in jannah one of the days nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi he called ibn mas'ud radhiyallahu anhu and he told him read for me the quran then ibn mas'ud was very surprised how can the rasul sallallahu alaihi tell me to recite for him the quran and it was revealed to you and you are telling me to recite it for you then nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says in uhibbu an asma'uhu min ghayri read also i need to listen to someone reciting the quran even if it was revealed to me but i want i feel so good when someone is reciting reciting the quran to me so <coughs> ibn mas'ud reports and said faqara'tu alayhi surah an-nisa i recited to him surah an-nisa hatta ju'tu ila hadhihi al-ayah until i reached at this verse which says a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim fa kayfa idha ja'ina min kulli ummatin bi shahid wa ja'ina bika ala haula'i shahida fa kayfa idha ja'ina how will it be idha ja'ina min kulli ummatin bi shahid when will bring each nation with a witness how will it be when will bring each person because in the quran the word umma it can mean any an individual the evidence is in the quran also inna ibrahim kana umma allah says ibrahim was a nation but it's one person so umma allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says how will it be on the day of qiyama when each group when each nation allah will bring it with a witness wajinabika ala haula'i shahida and i will bring you nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as a witness to these people so nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he had that verse from ibn mas'ud he told him hasbuk it is enough and then he said fataftu alayhi I turned and I looked to Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam fa idha aynahu tadrifan he was crying he was crying because of the message in that verse of the Quran Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we are his ummah he was sent to the all of the entire universe to the muslims and non muslims he was sent to them but on the day of qiyamah he would stand a witness for who are against us so this is the reason as to why nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sobbing can you imagine a situation when you are going to stand in the dock witnessing against your father your mother your beloved one nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam loved this ummah so how will it be that on the day of qiyamah he will be standing against us so what we have to do we should not be complacent as muslims that have said the kalima then it's finished nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi will stand for me nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam will stand for you but there are limits there are sins between you and your fellow human beings the sins between you and allah allah will forgive you but the, the situation between you and your fellow being you need to see to it that you solve you clean yourself today before the day of qiyamah will reach and you think that nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us we need to prepare ourselves we need to believe in the message of nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we follow him in each and everything he told us wa ma atakum rasulun fakhudhuhu whatever the messenger has given you take it wa ma nahakum anhu fantah 
whatever he has refused you to do, stay away from it such that you can be among those he will stand for on the day of Qiyamah. Wa salli lahum wa salli mubarak ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahabihi wa sallim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yes, uh, what a very uh, uh, inspiring talk, especially when it comes to Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam being a witness against us on the day of Qiyamah. That's a very scary one, especially today when we've got Muslims amongst ourselves who are selling out on the struggle that is taking place internationally. They are Muslims who are not supporting those who are going through a brutal war with the Zionists internationally. They are Muslims who do not support our Muslim brothers and sisters in places that occupy Palestine, in Yemen, in Lebanon, in Iran. How can Nabi Muhammad be a witness for us when amongst ourselves we are sending each other out? So, inshallah, after the Qarab <coughs> Salah, Imam is going to be leading uh, a dua, a very special dua for the war that is currently taking place against the Zionists, as I've said, in occupied Palestine, in Yemen, in Lebanon, as well as Iran. And this message should go out to all the Imams locally, in the Masajids, regionally and internationally, to make also a similar dua so that Allah destroys the Zionists and also destroy the sellouts amongst ourselves, inshallah. And lastly, remember, every function at this masjid, we do Dua'i Bunut, also pray for the victory of our Muslim brothers and sisters who are currently going through a war with the Zionists, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let's have one number. 
الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين الحمد لله الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المحيمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر الواحد الأحد الفرد الصمد الرقيب الحسيب الشهيد الشديد الفعال لما يريد أحمده سبحانه وأشكره وأتوب إليه وأستغفره يعلم خائنة الأعين وما تخفي الصدور سبحانه عالم الغيب والشهادة يعلم السر وأخفى وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له أحق من عبد وأحق من ذكر وأحق من شكر وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وخيرته من خلقه بعثه الله بالهدى والنور شفيعا وشهيدا على أمته صلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد أيها الإخوة أيها الإخوة في الله أولا هؤلاء الشهود هو النفس فكل واحد منا ذكرا أو أنثى أو ما يشهد عليه نفسه التي بين جنبيه وهذه الشهادة تكون عند الاختصار حيث لا ينفع الندم ويشهد على نفسه بالتقصير فأغلى أمانية أن يقول رب ارجعون لعلي أعمل صالحا فيما تركت كلا أيها الإخوة في الله وأعظم الشهود في يوم الميعاد على العباد هو ربهم وخالقهم وفاطرهم عز وجل الذي خلقهم ولا تخفى عليه خافية من أحوالهم قال الله تعالى ولا تعلمون من عمل إلا كنا عليكم شهودا إذ تفيضون فيه وقال إن الله كان على كل شيء شهيدا وأي شهادة أعظم من شهادة الله على عبده وأمته كيف بالله شهيدا كفى بالله شهيدا بيني وبينكم ومن أصدق من الله قيلا وحديثا سبحانه ولكن الله تعالى يحب الإعذار إلى خلقه ويحب أن يقيم عليهم الحجة البينة فبعث سبحانه شهودا على المكذبين على المكذبين الجاحدين حتى لا يكون لا أح لا حد لأحد عذر وجيء بالنبيين والشهداء وأول من يشهد على الأمم رسلها فيشهد كل رسول على أمته فكيف إذا جئنا من كل أمة بشهيد وجئنا بك على هؤلاء شهيدا ويوم نبعث في كل أمة شهيدا عليهم من أنفسهم أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل ذنب فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأزواجه وأصحابه أجمعين عباد الله اتقوا الله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون وارض اللهم عن خلفاء الراشدين أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن صائر صحابة أجمعين إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وصلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين 
اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وذل الشرك والمشركين ودمر أعداءك أعداء الدين يا رب العالمين اللهم انصر من نصر ديننا واخذل من خذل ديننا يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم أهلك الظالمين بالظالمين وأخرجنا من بيننا صالمين اللهم انصر إخواننا المستضعفين في فلسطين وفي اليمن وفي لبنان وفي الشام وفي كل مكان يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم انصرهم وأيدهم يا الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبقي يعيدكم لعلكم تذكرون وأقم الصلاة الله أكبر 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 لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم استوى واحتدلوا الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لليسرى فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصل النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى الله سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر بسم الله الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين قل 
يا أيها الكافرون لا أعبد ما تعبدون ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد لكم دينكم ولي دين الله سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله أعوذ بالله سبحانه وتعالى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت تجعل الحزن إذا ما شئت سهلا اللهم سهل الأمور كلها سهلا يا رب العالمين اللهم لا تدع لنا في مقام هذا ذما إلا غفرته ولا دينا إلا قضيته ولا مريضا إلا شفيته ولا حاجة من حوي الدنيا والآخرة إلا قضيتها يا أرحم الراحمين ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا وخضانا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر إخوان المستضعفين المرابطين في غزة يا رب العالمين اللهم انصرهم وأيدهم وعافي جرهاهم وأكرم نزلهم اللهم طهر مسجد الأقصى من رجز اليهود اللهم طهر مسجد الأقصى من رجز اليهود يا رب العالمين اللهم عليك باليهود الغاصبين اللهم عليك باليهود الغاصبين وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم صل